Well, I like going hunting, just me, my hound, and my gun. Chasing them deer, rabbit, and squirrel, now that's my kind of fun. I like going fishing too, I'll go on any whim. Looking for the big bass, the puppy, and the brim. Just give me a wide open field to walk through. Give me an ocean so deep. I want to ride the longest river in the world, or maybe climb the highest mountain peak. Like going down to the fishing hole, my buddies and me and my old cane pole. Bake them hooks and wet them lines, it's life I love so fine. It's almost supper time, you'd think the world was mine. And now for today's outdoor adventure, here's Archie Phillips. Folks, got my good buddy Mike Hale here, Sheriff of Jefferson County, biggest county in Alabama. And uh, I appreciate you taking a day off of chasing <laughs> them criminals, Mike. <laughs> Come awesome. out here and enjoy some of this outdoors with us. Well, it's a real honor to be out here with you, Archie. It really is. I've, I've watched the show and enjoyed it and uh, looking forward to it. Well, we. Uh, this is the time of year. I'm hoping we can get out there and do some good. It's uh, it's the right time of the year, you know. I told you it's, it's real hard to make an appointment with fish. You gotta, <laughs> when they bite, you gotta go. It looks great. Or take pot luck. Yes, sir. It looks great. Well, Feels what's good. been going on in the sheriff's department? Well, uh, we we've had uh, we've had a good year. Uh, I've got some, I got some great deputies. Uh, 538 deputy sheriffs that serve the folks. Got that many? Huh? Yes, sir. Serving the folks in the county, uh, got a good budget this year from the county commission. Uh, got our cars ordered. Got the things we need. Uh, uh, fighting terrorism with the Joint Terrorism Task Force. Got deputies assigned to that. Uh, deputies are very active, uh, very successful in uh, interdiction of drugs on the on the uh, main roads through Jefferson County. So uh, we're really uh, we're really taking a bite out of crime. Well, now, Mike, this. Uh this terrorist things, y'all look at something that would be just, you wouldn't give it a second thought before. You're looking at a lot of things closer, don't you? Absolutely, because uh, all criminal activity is now overlaid with, uh, with my deputies at the Joint Terrorism Task Force. You know, it takes money to fund terrorism, and, I, and, and folks would be surprised that money comes out of every community, not only in Justin County, but across the United States, uh, to send uh, to Al Qaeda and to try to uh, to hurt us, try to defeat freedom. And uh, that's why you have local law enforcement all over the country partnering with the FBI, Joint Terrorism Task Force, to keep this uh, country safe. Boy, I tell you what, you, you can't be too vigilant in today's world, because, I mean, there's a bunch of idiots in this world. I mean, first class idiots. Well. You know, terrorists don't run around with a with a tag that says terrorist on the back of the car. They blend into our communities, and that's the importance of local law enforcement and our, our great local folks that are involved in their neighborhoods to be able to tell uh, law uh, officers and sheriffs and chiefs what's going on. Uh, neighborhood watch is the key. Well, that that's great. Well, you know. Uh it looks like we're right here at the right time of the morning, and uh, I'm ready to get started. We'll we'll slide in this old Boston Whaler I got out here, and uh, that boat is 45 years old, Mike. Me and my brother-in-law bought one at the same time, 45 years ago, and I've gone through four or five bass boats, but I don't know. I just always go back to that old Boston Whaler because it's it's it, boated a bunch of bass. Oh. Uh, I'm ready. And I got it kind of custom built to suit me. So anyway, me and you and Guy is going to get out there. We're going to leave a, a Billy Moore and his wife Bobby here. They, they, they may catch more off his pier than we do in the boat out there. But uh, this lake, I got five feeders on it. I got it stocked with shad. And when you put shad in your lake, it makes your bass grow, but it, it diminishes your brim. So what you have to do, you have to feed your brim because the shed eats the phytoplankton and the zooplankton, which your brim normally right. eats. So they'd be starved to death if we didn't have these feeders, and they go off about a couple of times, three times a day. There's five of them around here, and that keeps the brim fed. And one of them's here on this pier, and uh, we get through fishing in the boat out there. We'd probably come fish a little on the pier. 
because we've got some big old brim in here too. We'll catch I tell you head. what, you know, I, I like when you arrive at a lake, you just have a good feeling about it and you look out over here, I can tell it's well cared for. I'm just, I just can hardly wait to, uh, to wet a worm in this baby. Well, it's always better to know somebody that's got a lake <laughs> than to have one because I'm going to tell you, it's, it's expensive Work. to keep them up yes. and you've got to do it like growing a garden. In other words, I got a hundred ton of lime coming this week. You have to lime it. Oh, if you don't lime the key, it, the fertilizer it? don't work. Yeah. The fertilizer don't work. The fish don't grow, and it's it's an endless cycle, you know. But I want I want I'm ready. I want to get one I can mount today. Well, maybe we can. <laughs> uh -huh. We'll just try it. Let's see what happens. Bobby, we're gonna make you the star of this show if you keep catching them bass off this pier. See that? See that right there, Mike? Yeah, I do. Look at that woman catching them bass. Ease that thing up here. Don't let him get on the pier, Bobby. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, mercy. Here, just leave, lift him up here, man. There we go. Oh, Bobby done caught two right here in a hurry. That's worth getting up uh, early for, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I lost. Oh, he swallowed it. He's all right. That's all right. I can get him off. Give me that. Give me those. Mike, Mike. Oh, he's bleeding out. He can get it done. Uh, Mike, that's a good omen, ain't it? Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> Mike, I, I can't believe you caught that fish on the first cast. Huh? I don't, he's about to pull me in. <laughs> don't let him get off. Oh, <laughs> well, I okay. tell you what, I ain't gonna say what I was fixing to say. Let me show you something here now. We got some, we got some goozle getters here. Oh, look, I don't look. Is that, is that, is that not the way to hook one? Oh yeah. Huh? That's where you want. That's right on top, there. right there. Oh man, look at that. You hold the fish. First cast. First cast. That's a big one, ain't it? Yeah. Your mama's gonna whip all of us. Well, she got a big fish on. I know she has. Billy's gonna have to go net him for her, too. She's gonna go to liking my pier. I guarantee you she's gonna go to liking. That's a good fish. That's the biggest one she's caught. She said that other one was the biggest one she's caught. Now, I guess that's the biggest one she's caught. How long has she been fishing? Got oh, my mother's been fishing. Loves well, yeah, since she's married daddy, she, for the last several years. But that's a good fish, Archie. Well, you know, you heard of Five Mile Creek, have you? Oh, yeah. Well, them polluters kept that thing tore up. And it's right behind Billy's house, that guy's house. Right. And then when they quit polluting for a year or two, the fish come back in there, and everybody everybody has a big time fishing. And so it's back now. It's in pretty good shape. They just go behind the house and wade fish. Have the best time you ever seen. Um, now, Mike, yeah. this lake, <clears throat> we built it a certain way. You know, most people, they shoreline fish right. all the time. Well, what I did, I took, cleaned everything out of this lake, took all the stumps and put them up on the bank. And it was clean as a hound's tooth all the way around in here. Then we came back, you see them white poles sticking up in the water right there? Yeah. We came back and, and put piles of stumps everywhere, and we flew over it while it was dry and photographed where all the stump piles were. See. And so everywhere you see a, a white pole, we always fish that. Now, a lot of the stumps are visible. We didn't have to worry about that. But wherever you see a white pole, we always fish them real good because they hold fish real good. Yeah. You see. So in other words, we'll be fishing shoreline. We'll be fishing every foot of this is fishable. So we get out in the middle. Like yesterday, we caught, uh, Saturday, we caught probably two-thirds of our fish right in the middle of the lake. And, and those structure piles. Now we're out in the middle of the lake here, like I was telling you, Mike, that uh, we're not uh, we're not bound by the shoreline. We we get out here in the middle and all these stump piles and everything. And uh, guys got one on the on the June bug worm. Yeah, that's pretty good one. That's pretty good one. Oh yeah. All right. Now let me tell you what else we do here. Let me show you something here. I'm going to. I'm converting to the June bug worm. No, I wouldn't. You don't. Then, then, then. Now here's what we do. Here's what we do, Mike. To keep each one of us from lying, we we when we see one that's you know. You got a D liar here, Mike. It, that's a little little bigger than than normal. When we go to guessing weights, we just quit guessing. Pull that that thing up right there, and it tells you what they weigh. It weighs two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds. Yes. There you go. Look yonder. Look yonder. Guy, your whole family's catch. There's Billy on the pier way over yonder, and he's got one. Look at that. Oh, man. He lost him. My goodness. 
Now, Mike, you was kin to our former sheriff, wasn't you? That's right. Mel uh, Bailey. Sheriff was my uncle. Was uh, your uncle? He married uh, married my dad's baby sister, Annie Lois Hale. I see. And, uh, you know, of course, he was raised out in uh, Sardis, but uh -huh. uh, when they started their family, they uh, uh, moved over to East Lake and uh, eventually lived over in, over in Crestwood. Uh, all went to the same church. And I tell you what, uh, my passion for bass fishing, uh, I'd have to, I'd have to give Sheriff Bailey credit. Uh, you know, Archie, he was a dedicated, uh, he loved uh, bass fishing. I only started playing golf late in life, but uh, loved to worm fish. Uh -huh. And I tell you what, it was my privilege as a young, as a, a young boy to go sculling with him on, uh, on Lake Mitchell. I see you like that. A lot of these lake. guys today don't know what sculling is. Oh but, yeah, I know. But uh, I, Sheriff Bailey, I, I can see I can see him working that paddle right there. And uh, let me tell you, uh, he always kept himself in a position to catch uh, catch those fish uh, up front. Always. You know the probably the greatest moment in my life, my daddy. I, he loved to fly fish, and one day he brought home a green straight shaft Minn Kota motor. <laughs> And I always done the paddling. That's all I did, oh, was yeah. paddle when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. I thought I had died and went to heaven when I put that thing on the back of that boat and I didn't have to scull no more. You know. I couldn't believe it, Mike. <laughs> you know, I learned something. Yeah, I think back to fishing with my dad and with Sheriff Bailey. And uh, honest to goodness, uh, Sheriff Bailey's uh, taught me the value of a positive mental attitude. He got me excited on every cast, he made me believe that if we were in that area to catch, that there was a there was a bass down there, and he'd say, watch out, Mike. he'd say, watch out, uh, Michael. Well, actually, he called me Mawin. I'll tell you, that's a little bit, I'll tell you that different story. He said, watch out, Mawin, that, that is gonna break your wrist, hang on. Every every cast expects something good. And you know what, that's not a bad way to live life. You it? ain't kidding, it ain't. You, you see that old bird sitting right there? Yeah. He knows that feeder's gonna go off in just a minute. And what happens when that feeder goes off, some of those pellets are half size and they'll drop short right at the edge of the water there. And you talking about a fish, when you watch him go down there, he will pick him up some lunch before you can say hello. He goes from one feeder to the other. We done turned, the, turned him into a welfare recipient. <laughs> I about to say he's fishing over a baited field. Oh, he is fishing <laughs> over a baited field. <laughs> All right, guy, you got one coming. Ah, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, that's it good sure fish. is a good one. good fish, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. That's a good fish, here. Yeah. yeah, that in there, he might score, guy. Mm. Hold on, hold on. He's right off them logs, too, wasn't he? He ain't hung, is he? Is he hung, guy? You got that fish hung. He ran around something. Oh, my goodness gracious alive. That's terrible. I ain't believe it. I ain't never had one hung right there. I ain't either. I, I tell you what, I bet he done. Ran it. Ran around that hole. Didn't he? Yeah. Now, now Mike, he's, he, he's he, still on there. Is he? You see the you see this uh, these bubbles here. That's called a destratifier, and right. what it does, you lose you don't have any oxygen after eight or ten feet, and uh, in the summertime with a cold rain and a cold night, the bottom will reverse to the top and the top will reverse down, and it'll kill every fish in this lake. Right. They'll die of oxygen starvation, but. When you put this in, it brings the bottom water up and keeps it the same all the way around. But the, the plus side other than that is the shad and little brim get around moving water and the big bass lay all around these uh, these uh, bubbles here. So we fish all these. We catch fish on them all the time. So. Oh, man. Guy, I'm not going to believe this miracle you just pulled off. Find a game come out from under there. He he was under he went under that destratifier pipe. Though. He just went in there and it was just good fish. That is a good fish. Well, no, he's yes, a little sir. bit better at that two and a half. I'm gonna say about too close to three. Well, what you're gonna have to oh. do, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to prove it, guy. Prove it by weighing him. Let's see what he weighs. Three. What does he weigh? He weighs three pounds. That's a good one. Okay. He's right here where we well, thought he ought to be. Here, one thing about these two, my boom. Oh yeah. Preserve that memory for a lifetime with a quality mount from Archie Phillips Taxidermy. With over 35 years experience leading the way in the development of the most modern and innovative methods of taxidermy, Archie Phillips can have your trophy back to you in four to five weeks. 
durable, long-lasting color, and accuracy is our goal by researching various species of fish and bringing it to you with the convenience of home delivery. Freeze your fish solid in a plastic garbage bag, roll them up in an inch or two of newspaper, put them in a cardboard box, and send them UPS on Monday. Outside the southeastern United States, send them second day air. All right, Mike, you peeled him off that island I there, did. didn't you? I did. Oh, yeah, there he comes. He's active. There you go. Oh. And we got a little cloud cover. That ain't hurting nothing. No, it's not. Oh, look at him. Yeah, I see him. I see him. Yeah, that's looking good. Looking good. There we go. They may have moved. We know our wind's getting pretty stout out there. We got to find a little steel water. I tell you what. That ain't no batting. No, it's not. I want to show them your worm too, Mike. Hold right still now. Now, buddy, that's a that's an exotic worm right there. What do you call that kind of worm? Well, it's got that uh, curly tail on it, but I put that uh, I put that uh, garlic dye on there. I see. And. Uh, I like those, you know, I like those sparkles in there, too. Oh, yeah. Well, I think that attracts them myself. I do, too. I really do. Mm. All right. Have another day. <laughs> Very good. I that is you. fun. Oh, yeah. See, they, they lay around that island there. We put that island. That's an artificial island. And then it goes down, and then it, it's got a little gap right down there. Right in this section right here, I'm showing you. It's pretty right. good. We've caught right quite a there. few right in there. And then right at the end right. of that, it, a lot of times they'll bunch up down there. You know, Archie, it, 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 you have so much structure and so many different looks in here. I, I tell you, that right there reminds me on uh, on Mitchell. Yep. You know how the yep. island's in there, how that water goes oh, down yeah. through there? I sure do. It surely does. That's my yeah. old stomping ground, Lake Mitchell. Oh, yeah. Where are you going to come up at? I don't know what I'm going to do, buddy. There he is. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Look at that in there. He's doing kind of what he wants to do right Oh, yeah. Now. That's a good three pounder guy. He, he'll, I believe he'll. Three and a half? He'll go three and a half, I believe. That's Come a pretty out. one, too. Good fish. Are you down deep or shallow? He was deep. And I hooked him deep, too. That's all right. He'll come out. I'm going to get you in here. Right? Okay. Let me see what he weighs. See what he weighs. He's a good fish, I tell you that. He's over three, probably, ain't he? If I can get the... Well, what does he say? Yeah, he's three and a half. Three and a half. That's a good one. I like how he shook his head when he's right. Yeah. I do too. One last ditch effort to get rid of that worm and hook. There he is. Comes. There comes. Look what a brim. He Why don't took. You look it. what a brim. All right, now let me show Mike something. He was wanting to know what a green sunfish is. I'm fixing to show him right here. Now, Mike, a green sunfish is. See at the base of that tail, that little black spot right there? Yeah. It, right, right there at the base of that dorsal, right there. Right. All right. Then he's, he have a, usually have a little orange place on him right there. He's got these little blue spots on him. Looks similar to a shell cracker. Right there. And, and, and he has those uh, similar to a, uh, to a regular uh, pumpkin seed. I bet that's some good eating. Oh, yeah. But, but they don't usually, this is, would be called a big one yeah. in most lakes. But uh, we got some, I mean, we wouldn't even fillet this in here, but we got some shown enough big ones in here. I'm talking about some big ones. But he's a pretty little old fish. I really tell you, is. he's a pretty thing. He got around that bush while going, I thought it was a pretty good bass. And what they'll do, the minute they grab your worm, they'll run under a tree limb. Right. Right. You're going to get hung with nearly every one you catch. I think I've got one running with mine, guy. Look at him going yonder way. He's, he's going, going on the back water. of the boat, going to deep water. Wow. Look at that thing. Woo. I know one thing, he just throwed out a perfectly good, a perfectly good uh, June bug worm. I know that, and we're getting low on him. Uh, oh, he's fighting me good. Look at that. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, man. You got him good, though. I got him good. I, li I like that lip thing right there because it's easy to get under. Yes, well, sir. Well, it shows you're right on him. All right, right on him. Uh, Isn't that right, guy? Yes, sir. It no works that way. That Let's tell these folks here something. In a lake, you've got to manage this thing. And you heard all this catch and release stuff, but when one about this side, 12 inches down, after a lake's a couple, three years old, maybe four years old, 
this is 10 acres and I'm supposed to take out 300 pounds. Right. And he says, take out 12 inches and down. So that would be one going in the box, but we ain't got the box because we're a little crowded here. But uh, we're going we gonna to give him a reprieve. That'd Mike. be good eating size. We're in dangerous territory right here. Look at that. You got him out of dangerous territory? Yeah, I just got him out. All right, get him out of them limbs, because there's limbs all in there. Look at that, boy, he's... he's... Oh, man, yeah. Can you believe one, he ain't, he ain't that he ain't big, big to, a but he run in this shallow water under the logs. He knew what to do. Yeah, he knew exactly what to do. Yeah, I got him in a bad place. Yeah, all right, now we better put that in the box. He'd be a good yeah, box fish. You need the little goose or getters? I guess I do. Close to the bank. That ain't a, that ain't a box fish. That's just a tad bigger than a box fish. All right. Let me see them goofle getters. If I got them. Uh -uh. Reach behind you. Hey. Yeah, I can see it down there. There you go. Just give it a little twist. That's almost a box fish. I think I'm gonna put him in the box. Yeah, I knew. Oh I knew man, that was funny man, you got a big old, you got a big old green sunfish. I did. He kept. Uh, see, he bit that, he bit that big old worm. But a bass don't keep hitting that thing. Now, he see, he'll peck, 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 yeah. peck, peck. He's just like a chicken pecking at it. I tell you what, now, I'm proud of where I got him. We got him out of the middle. Look at that, right there. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good hold there. We'll that's great. Well, Mike, I, I can't think of a more fitting way to end this show than you missing the biggest fish in the lake. <laughs> no, I hate you missed him, buddy. Well, I'm having to conjure up a, a smile. Uh, I tell you what, what a, what a great tug. I, you know, I knew I had him. You saw him flash over. I knew I wanted to get him past that stuff. He wanted to go in it. And uh, if we would got him past that, it would have been a good fish. Uh, oh, yeah. Archie, I've had a great, great time today. Uh, brought back a lot of memories, uh, me fishing with... Uh, uh, Sheriff Bailey, uh, this is just an awesome, awesome uh, lake here. You've managed it uh, wonderful, and uh, I hope I can come back sometime. Well, we want to invite you back. We appreciate you taking time off your busy day to come out here and do a little R and R with us, and uh, so maybe we can do it again. And y'all folks, stay tuned again next week for some more outdoors with Archie Phillips.